Hello, good morning YouTube. Hatch61 here. Out enjoying the great outdoors in between snowstorms and blizzards and nor'easters and everything else that we're having here in the Cape Cod area. Hopefully you can hear me with the wind blowing through these trees. I found a clearing so that if the wind does blow, uh, you can see there's trees down. There's all kinds of stuff happening around here. So I found a clearing where the wind keeps blowing. I'm not going to get hit by anything, hopefully. So, Anyway, I'm here to do a quick video. I had a bunch of very observant viewers of mine send me messages and ask questions about a holster and a handgun that they saw on the tailgate of my truck when I was doing my last video on the butane stove. So I just wanted to explain to you folks and show it to you real quick. This is basically the rig. It's a bandolero style. has room for cartridges here to carry and your handgun here. What's nice about it is it always keeps the gun at the ready. I only wear this when I know I'm not going to be seeing other people on the trail. Like where I am right now, I'm not going to run into anybody. This is just a very secluded area. I'm not going to see any other hikers. So I'm not going to have anybody feel intimidated or threatened or anything else by me wearing this. If I'm in an area where I'm going to run into folks, I always carry a sidearm. It's concealed so nobody sees it. And it's relatively ready. But this is ready all time. You know, something wants to come along. It's just a matter of grabbing it, flipping it off, and having it available for you. So. Uh, in this holster, this is set up for the 44 Magnum Ruger Super Blackhawk. A uh, bit of an overkill for where I am right now, but it will protect you and it will uh, persuade any mostly coyotes in this area from leaving you alone. They'll just, you know, you fire one round, they're just going to take off. I mean, you don't have to hit them. You, know, you fire toward them, they're going to take off. But uh, coyotes are a huge problem this year. Uh, it's been getting worse and worse every year. Uh, but with the influx of, you know, a lot of food for them, uh, mostly turkeys, because that's what you see a lot of carcasses of, because they, they go after the turkeys a lot. Uh, but this will do the job. And like I said, I only wear this when I'm going to be out in the area. I like it because I like the look of it. I like the feel of it. It's comfortable. You don't even know you're wearing it. It's not buried underneath your jacket or underneath your stuff, so it's hard to get to if something's happening. This is right there ready for you. Like I said, it is an overkill, but I like it. It's fun. Uh, so I just wanted to show that with you folks. I will have some more videos coming up soon. I know I haven't gotten many out, but it is due to the weather. In the last two weeks, we've had three nor'easters, which are basically, you know, winter hurricanes. And we've had days and days of power outages, floods, you name it. So it hasn't really lent itself to doing too many videos. But I do thank you for keeping me company out here and hanging in there. Uh, like I said, I should have some more stuff coming up. BioLite's, uh, I got an item coming from BioLite, which I love that company. They do great work. Not only great products, but they do great work around the world helping folks out. So that'll be coming up in a week or so, and I'll be able to share that with you. So thanks for keeping me company out here. This is Hatch61, enjoying this, and just so I can forget who actually makes this thing. It's on here somewhere. It's not, but uh, I mean, you can just go uh, Bandolero style holsters, and uh, oh, there it is. It's made by Guide Gear. Okay, let's see if I can show that. I don't know if it's showing up or not. But it's made by Guide Gear. Uh, very well made. Nice, soft, subtle, supple leather. Put it on, on and off in two seconds. And it's always there for you if you need it on the trail. Again, thanks for keeping coming out here. Sorry to be so long-winded, but that's me. So, thanks for keeping coming company out here. Hatch 61, enjoying the great outdoors. And regardless of the weather, get out there and enjoy it. It is always something. It's always beautiful. Great things to see. So thanks again. Take care now. Bye-bye.